Okay, let's get started with uh, ecology and I'd like to first uh, talk about some important terms. Uh, ecology itself is the study of how organisms interact with each other. And uh, we start off over here with species uh, because these are our organisms that we talk about. How do you define species? Well, uh, I'm now going to simply tell you some key uh, words here, um, but uh, it's better if you formulate out yourself a full definition. Definition. Um, species are organisms that share many similarities. So I'm going to write down many similarities. And, uh, and there's a second criterion as well. Many similarities and they have the potential to interbreed. Potential, they can in potential to interbreed. What does this mean? Uh, that means uh, two members of the same species can mate with each other to produce offspring. That is uh, important. So they are able to pr produce offspring into the future. And the third criterion is, is that the offspring has to be fertile. Offspring. So the next generation, the children, the babies, so to say, they have to be fertile. Now, um, is there any, I want you probably want to hear an example where this is not the case. For example, a donkey and a horse, you can, uh, they are able to interbreed. They are able to produce offspring. And the offspring is a so-called a mule, a mule. And this mule, these mules, um, yeah, in some countries you use them quite a, quite a lot because they have a very good sense of balance and they're very good for carrying um, objects in the mountainous areas because they have a good sense of balance. But they themselves are infertile, right? so that it means they're not a, you cannot cross two mules to make another mule. And therefore, a horse and donkey, they belong to different species. So these are some important points over here. The next one is, is what, a, what is a population? And the population are, uh, is a, uh, a species living in the same place at the same time. Species at same place at the same time. Okay, so you talk about the population of a, of a certain city, for example, a human population of a certain city um, refers to the uh, people living right now in current in this very moment, at this very moment in this particular city. So uh, uh, humans living in the city now and 500 years ago, these are, are different populations. Hmm? Um, and another thing is, is uh, the word population kind of uh, implies that we're talking about human beings, but that's not what we are talking about here in, in, ecolo in ecology alone. So we can talk about plant population, we can talk about bacterial population, and, and so on, okay? Um, well, actually, if I say plant population, it's not correct either, because uh, it's the question is, is which species of plant are we talking about here? Because plants is a, is a very general term. So you see we go from a very specific one over here to a slightly more general population. And then the next one is a community. And a community is uh, when there are several populations interacting with each other. Several populations interacting. Okay, um, so of course uh, they have to be living at the same place uh, per definition of a population. But this question is now how can they interact? And the most basic form of interaction are so called trophic relationships. Trophic relationships. And that is a fancy way of saying that one species might feed, might eat the other species. That's a trophic, a feeding relationship, right? Um, that is um, the most basic form of interaction here. Um, however, it is also possible that species in, in, in interact indirectly because uh, they're uh, consuming the same resources, they're competing maybe for the same space, uh, competition for light and other resources, okay? So that could also be a form of in interaction, but uh, the one that's really important is, is, is the trophic relationship, and I'm also gonna talk about this later again. And then you have an ecosystem, and an ecosystem is a community and its abiotic environment. What does it, what's an abiotic? An abiotic means a non-living. It's a non-living environment. So for example, wind, weather, temperature, light conditions, and so on, 
okay? Uh, maybe an okay, um, occasional volcanic eruption, that's an abio um, abiotic factor. Okay, so they're all the non-living non um, environmental uh, components um, that have an impact on, um, on a community. That's uh, an ecosystem. So for example, ecosystem rainforest, okay? ecosystem uh, desert, and, and so on. Yeah? Um, even, some people even said ecosystem city. The cities can be seen as an ecosystem. Yeah? Um, so that is a, another thing. So here, first of all, we're actually introducing a non-living um, non environment. So wind, weather, uh, light availability, and so on. And the last one is a biosphere. It's the biosphere, it's the whole world. These are all the ecosystems, all ecosystems of the planet Earth. Yeah, that is referred to as, uh, as the biosphere. Okay? And the, the important thing here is, is here we're very, very general down here. That's general. And over here we are very specific. Okay, um, so we were moving from over from specific uh, to general, and and one builds on uh, on top of the other. Okay, so species, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. These are some some important uh, terminologies over here, and I'm going to talk about some of them again later. So, but let's move on to the next foil. Modes of nutrition. Where you already remember, you remember that I already talked about the trophic relationships, the feeding relationships, and now we talk about feeding. How do organisms feed? And first of all, they're the autotrophs, and the word auto means self. And troph, ooh, tro uh, I miss I'm missing an O here, how is that? Yeah? The autotrophs are the, the self-feeders. Okay, I made such a nice PowerPoint for and now I actually made a typo here. The so-called the autotrophs, okay? And these autotrophs, these are the self-feeders, and there are two very important examples, of course, the plants, Plants, uh, from something with my letters today here, the, the plants and certain photosynthetic bacteria. Plants, they are photosynthetic, and there are also some photosynthetic bacteria. Synthetic bacteria. And what do they do? The autotrophs, they are self feeders because they use CO2 plus sunlight and light to make their own food, glucose in this case, right? They do photosynthesis. So in other words, you just remember, all the troughs, they do photosynthesis. Okay, that is, uh, that's the bottom line here. Yeah? So there's the self feeders and yeah. And all the troughs, they are also known as, uh, as producers because they can make their own food. We also refer to them as producers, okay? So the plants and photosynthetic bacteria are producers. So what about the heterotrophs? The hetero, the hetero, this refers to the other feeders, other feeders. And they feed on organic feeders. And what they eat is they eat, take up the need organic substances to feed on, okay? So for example, animals are heterotrophs. What about fungi? Fungi are also heterotrophs. Fungi, they do not need the light. They feed on, they decompose and decay organic material. And by uh, feeding on this organic material, they're able to get the energy out of that. But we have a few sub uh, subcategories over here. So what we have, first of all, we have consumers. These are heterotrophs. But what they do is, is uh, they feed on other, they feed on other living things. Feed on other living things, living organisms. Well, how is that? Or living organisms, living organisms. Okay, um, uh, plants and uh, this includes plants and animals, and possibly also bacteria. Okay, so we are consumers here. What we do is, is, is uh, we, uh, you can say, well, well, I mean, they're not living really when we eat them. Yeah, but I mean, they were recently killed. I mean, we, we kill them, of course, uh, to eat them, uh, the animals, uh, and uh, therefore we are consumers. And all the same thing with plants. Um, because then we're not gonna, we're actually not really eating living things well because they're already dead. No, you'll now see what I actually mean. Because the next one, these are so called saprotrophs. 
they are also heterotrophs and they feed by on other on other organic materials of course by releasing enzymes for digestion you might want to add okay and then they absorb the nutrients so these are for example bacteria and fungi do that they do not have a digestive system bacteria fungi so for example I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna invent something over here yeah let's say that that's the food over here okay that they want to eat and on the outside here we have the we have uh, we have the fungus or the bacteria growing and what do they do okay they secrete enzymes into the food it's digested okay the food is broken down and then the nutrients are reabsorbed so I should draw an arrow back the nutrients are then reabsorbed okay and these are saprotrophs and what they do is, is they, they break down and they decompose uh, whatever food uh, they're using old leaves uh, dead animals who knows what right so uh, these are heterotrophs because the food of course is also organic but they're not running around uh, hunting for the, hunting for the food yeah? and then we have detritivores and what they do is they ingest what does this mean when they ingest something they eat it they physically eat it they have a digest they have a digestive system ingest uh, dead organic material Okay, they ingest dead organic material and, and they have, of course, therefore a digestive system. Digestive system, but they feed on dead things. Present. So, for example, e.g. earthworm. Okay, so an earthworm feeds on dead and decaying leaves and it has a digestive system. Okay, so that is uh, that is essentially it. Uh, that's uh, in 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 a, in a so-called in a nutshell, as well as I used to say, um, the most important uh, um, uh, terms uh, for um, ecology. But I did not define the word ecology yet. Ecology is a branch of biology. It's the study on the int or, or of the interaction. of organisms okay so I'm, I'm kind of concerned I'm kind of concerned how do the organisms interact um, but not only that it's not only on how they interact but also of course how they interact uh, with the environment and their environment okay um, so that is uh, uh, basically a definition of ecology and in the other foils, but I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk a little bit more in, in that detail um, on these feeding relationships and on energy. So what we are worried about in ecology a lot is, is um, also the whole issue about energy. Where do the organisms obtain their energy from? And that's also one of the reasons why I talked about these things here, um, because I, I told you over here in the other groups, they make their own food, so they need the sunlight. Yeah, to get their energy from and they get the, the energy the, those, those guys over here they get the energy from uh, feeding on other organic material so that was it okay all the best